As far as what kind of art that I do, it's, uh, it's always jumping around. So it's hard to say that I am a certain type of artist. But as an analogy for skating, like say like there's a trick you do or whatever, but there's a point before you could say you have that trick, you know what I mean? There's a gray area where it's like, I can do the trick, but can I say that I have the trick? I feel like that's how it is with everything that I do. It's like, am I a musician? Kinda, you know what I mean? Am I a jeweler? Am I an animator? You know? Like, do you make candles? I'm in the gray area where I don't feel like I could fully say like, I am this or I am that. My name is Kwesi and I'm from the IE, Inland Empire. Uh, right now we're in Fontana in my garage and yeah, this is where I create all my works. Um, yeah, I accumulated all this stuff over time. Like uh, initially I was doing woodworking stuff, like I was recycling skateboards. So that's where like the bandsaw and like the um, belt sander and stuff came from. And then like over time I started doing candles and stuff. So I started getting all the silicones and now I'm doing a lot of 3D printing with the, these printers here and um, jewelry casting with the equipment here. I've always made things, but I feel like I didn't consider it art, you know? I was just always like making things like origami or like just random things. I would describe my art though like as like, really it's inspired by like ideas. Whatever idea comes to mind, if it's enough of a spark to that idea that I want to do it, then like nothing's gonna tell me different. Uh, I made this sharpener, like a classic throwback, like old elementary school <laughs> sharpener. And then a guitar pick. Did anyone play guitar out of um, the same art that we're using for the thunder thing? Yeah, this is like a candle I made. It's a snake one. Um, the mold for this one is fucking huge. It's the big. It's so heavy. For this one, for instance, like I was like, I want to make a candle, like a snake candle, and then I want the wick to be like the tongue. You know, I kind of started with that, and then this is what I got. You know. Whenever I, I have extra stuff or if I make something and I'm selling it, I'll throw it on my website. But um, selling the art comes out of like living in California. You know, it's so expensive here. So I'm just like, damn, like if I could just make the art and not have to like sell it, you know what I mean? I probably would. Yeah, I did a fundraiser with my candles where um, like whoever bought one, I, I gave all the proceeds to Surf Ghana. I always wanted to build a skate park in Ghana. Like I always thought like, damn, like one day I want to build a skate park in Ghana. And then um, when I saw that they were actually building one in Ghana, like they already had started working on it. I was like, damn, I was like, let me actually try to help. And you know, so the reason why I started making masks was because I wanted to make kalimbas with faces. <laughs> like literally and then it's like led to like so many other things like before i knew how to sculpt i was trying and put faces on my kalimbas like you know <laughs> like this old one has a face like etched into it like i don't know i'm like a diyer i guess i feel like most people for instance if they want to make jewelry they'll go to somebody who knows how, you know they'll pay somebody to design it and pay somebody to cast it and pay somebody to do this i don't know why i didn't even think about that I didn't think that was like I didn't think about that I wanted my pieces in silver and so I like started researching how to cast a uh, piece in silver I like to try to do like things that I haven't really seen before like that's what I tend to focus on you know so I feel like when I make a candle I'll try to like make it in a way that's NBD like you know let me make this candle with hair or like let me make this candle a candle out of a snake with the tongue or whatever so like just things that I haven't seen b done before in certain mediums, I try to do that when I do my art. The skateboarding is what um, kind of influenced my art in that sense. Yeah, I started skating when I was 10 years old, like I think the summer between fifth grade and sixth grade. Yeah. And I seen the homie do a slappy one day. It was a slappy crook. And uh, I thought it was cool. So like I, I practiced it and then I finally learned it. And then um, ever since that, like, you know, then I was like, oh, maybe I could do it front side or maybe I could do it on, you know, a rail or this or that or whatever. You know, some obstacles are deceiving. Like, you know, it, it doesn't look like it wants to be slappy, but 
if you just ask, it, you know, you find out it wants to be sloppy, you know? It really does. Yeah, I think I started getting weird with tricks before I, like, considered myself an artist, and I think it just kind of carried over. I seen the impact that doing things that people haven't seen before, I seen, you know, how it, it lights people up, like, their eyes and stuff, so I took that and, and applied it to you know, art. Okay, I've been skating for sci-fi for like a year. I think 2023, this year, um, Jerry wants to like, you know, start working on a video. What? <laughs> I'll probably honestly mess up because the song I'm gonna try to play is um, like a new one, but. Like, I was like um, interested in shaping my art into metal because um, like I just know in a thousand years or whatever it'll still be around. From, from that I just started doing jewelry because you know it's like a small cool way to keep you know your art <laughs> in metal. So. But right now I'm gonna be making a tree. You're pretty much creating a funnel for like uh, when you pour the metal in it's, it's going to uh, cast this way, so you want to make sure that all the branches of the tree are at an angle like that so that it helps when the metal comes down. So yeah, here's the tree. Did my best. It's all right. This stuff right here is like, uh, it's like cement. Like you mix it with water and then it gets hard. probably silver on the floor somewhere, like little bits of silver. It comes in like a grain so that you can um, uh, weigh out how much you need and then melt that specifically. Of course you're supposed to weigh it out, but you know, I'm a pro so I just eyeball it. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Yeah, this thing was in the cooker all night. As you can see, all the wax, you know, all the wax is gone. Right now, I'm just gonna quench the flask in some water to break apart the investment and uh, take out my piece. This is investment, so this is the stuff that I mixed up and poured. It becomes hard over, like, as you heat it. And so, as that's becoming hard, the wax inside is, is melting. So it's keeping the shape of the, um, what was in there with the wax. And then the wax melts out and the silver takes its place. Clipping the pieces off of the tree. Man, sometimes they're strong. Like that one. Ready for polishing. Ha, ha, ha.